driveways. We're going to look at the driveway section of our pricing sheet. In the driveway section, we can allow for a drive entrance and up to two driveway sections. We have lots of options for the finished surface of our driveway, these being block paving, stone, concrete or tarmac, as well as multiple edging types, curbs, concrete and timber. The flexible nature of the driveway section means we can use whatever combination we require. Also, as mentioned in the Pathways movie, any patios or pathways that are not having paving slabs as their finished surface can be allowed for here in the driveway section too. The wastage percentage that will be added on to items is here. This is a default setting and it is in a yellow box, so we can change it if we want. When we arrive at the driveway pricing section, the drive entrance and driveway sections are closed. We will be pricing a drive entrance and we will be using one of the driveway sections. Let's click the buttons to get these open. Instantly they open up. We'll take a look at how easy it is to use them in the next movie sections. Driveway entrance. Our five bedroom house does have a driveway and a drive entrance. Let's see how simple working out the costs for our drive entrance is. We'll start at the top left hand side. We'll notice that we have four yellow boxes and they are pre-filled for us with sizing measurements for the drive entrance. We'll click the thumbnail picture. Okay, this text tells us that the default dimensions of the drive entrance are set to a DC 101. This is the name of a standard set of measurements for a new driveway entrance. We can change them if we want. We will just type the dimensions required into the yellow boxes. We will be leaving this set like this. We can also check and if necessary adjust the type of edging to the front and back of the drive entrance. We can choose from timber edgings, concrete edgings and curbs. The edging that's selected will highlight blue. We will be using these curbs at the front and back of the drive entrance so we will reselect those. Now we just enter the details. Next we'll go over to the right hand side. We need to enter in the type of edging we will be using on the sides of the drive entrance. We'll click the thumbnail. We have options for timber, concrete or curb. The default material for concrete is a bullnose or square top 900mm concrete edging. But the blue text here explains that if we're doing a different type of concrete edging, for example bricks or rope, then we still select concrete and use the drop down menu in the concrete edging section to select our material. We are going to be using curbs. We'll click this picture. It highlights blue. We'll enter the details. Back on the pricing sheet we have a visual reference and the blue text to remind us of our choice. We're now going to select the finish for our drive entrance and get the rest of the details entered in. We click this picture. As we can see, we've got four options. Block paving, stone, concrete and tarmac. We're going to be using a tarmac finish. Let's click the tarmac picture. This does open a small form where we can get the dimensions for the finished surface entered. OK, so our finished depth is going to be 38mm. The base tarmac depth will be 50mm. Blinding depth, 75mm. Our sub base will have a depth of 150mm and the excavation depth is going to be 300mm. Let's enter that in. A further form asks us to specify the tarmac we'll be using. We will leave it set on this one and have our tarmac in 10 tonne loads. See? All this information goes into the red boxes located here. OK, we've now entered all the required information for our drive entrance. We've looked at it in detail, but essentially we check the dimensions, specify the type of edging for the front, back and sides, selected a finish and entered just five numbers. Let's take a look at what's been allowed. OK, so first we can see the costs and quantities for the driveway membrane. If we don't require this we can switch it off and the costs will be removed. We do want this, so we'll just turn it back on. Sub-base fill is here. We're going to be using 10 tonne loads of crushed concrete, but this can be changed in the drop-down menu. The blinding and the cement for blinding are next. We can adjust the material in the drop-down and we can also change the mix for the cement too. If cement for the blinding isn't required, we can switch it off. The base tarmac is worked out. Again, we've got the option to turn it off and remove it from our costs. Here, we can see the costs and hours for the finished tarmac surface. We'll notice that the material is in a white box and can't be changed here. If we need to adjust it, we just use the yellow drop-down menu located here, at the top of the section. As we're doing a tarmac finish, we won't require any kiln-dried sand. But if we'd chosen block paving, we could have included this in our quote. The blue text here lets us know that the edging for our drive entrance is allowed for in the relevant edging section. We'll be looking at this shortly. General items that may be required for the driveway as a whole, such as an excavator, can be allowed for in the general subsection that we'll also look at shortly. Driveway sections. Here is where we enter in the details for the actual driveway. The driveway entrance is dealt with separately and we have allowed for that. Let's get the information for the driveway 
that will run off our driveway entrance entered in. We'll start here. We have two red boxes. We enter in the area of the driveway. This gives us so much flexibility and means allowing for different shapes is really simple. If we've allowed for a drive entrance, remember that we do not need to include this in the area that we're entering here. Now we put in the total length of any edgings that need to be allowed for around the driveway area. If we click the question mark, we're provided with a visual reference that clarifies what's required. As we saw in the drive entrance movie section, now we just need to specify the type of edging. Let's click the picture. We can choose from timber, concrete or curb. We'll select concrete. Now we need to specify the type of finish. Let's click the picture. The finished surface options include block paving, stone, concrete or tarmac. We'll be doing block paving. We click that picture. We're provided with a form where we can enter the information for the block paving finish. The finish depth will be 50mm. Blinding will have a depth of 50mm. The subbase will be 200 and the excavation will be 300mm. Enter the details. We're now provided with a further form where we can check and if necessary, adjust the driveway finish material. We will be using red block pavers that are 50 by 213 mil. All of the items for our driveway section one have been worked out. Let's take a look at what's been allowed. The driveway membrane is here. We want this, but if it's not needed, we just switch it off by clicking this button. The costs will be removed. We'll just switch that back on. Here's the sub base fill. We can select a different aggregate from the drop down menu if necessary. We are going to be using crushed concrete in 10 tonne loads, so we'll leave this as it is. We can see the quantity that we'll need and the associated labour costs. Blinding is next. The material can be adjusted and we can view all the costs and hours. We do have the option to make our blinding into a lean mix if required. We would just switch on the cement for blinding option. We're doing a block paver driveway that will be laid directly onto sand, so we'll switch this back off as the cement will not be needed. As we're not doing a tarmac finish, the programme knows not to calculate any base tarmac for us. The driveway finish materials and costs are here. We're doing block pavers so we can see the quantity of pavers that will be needed for our driveway, as well as the associated costs and hours. The material for the driveway finish is in a white box. We did select it earlier when we were entering the driveway information in. We can still adjust it if we want though. We just use the yellow drop down box here. The blue text here tells us that the edging for this driveway is in the edging section that we'll look at in the edging movie section. General items that may be needed, such as plant and cutting discs, can be allowed for in the general subsection, which we're going to look at shortly. Okay, we've now entered driveway section one. We do have the option to enter another section of driveway. For example, if we're using different materials on a further section of driveway, or if we wanted to allow for a concrete stone or tarmac patio, or perhaps pathways. Driveway section two works in exactly the same way as driveway section one. We just complete the red boxes and specify the type of finish and edging, then check the details. We won't be entering a second driveway section, so we will close this back up. General items. The driveway pricing section provides us with lots of options. We can allow for a drive entrance and up to two driveway sections. When we've completed these parts of the driveway section, we can then allow for the general items that they may require. There are lots of blue boxes in the general items section, so our judgment will be required. We also need to remember that what we enter in here is going to be for all the parts of the driveway that we've entered above. So we do need to make sure the details we enter will cover everything. The first item is setting out. We'll allow half a day for this and eight man hours. We'll have a compactor for a day. Here's the cutter. We'll need this to cut our block pavers and curbstones. We'll allow three days. The cutting discs are worked out for us. If we click on the question mark, we can view and if we wish, change how this is working out. The excavator is here. We'll be using this for two days. All of the costs for it are worked out. This includes any running costs, delivery and collection. We'll have the dumper for two days as well. The disposal of soils is calculated for us. If we're not disposing of them off-site, just click this box and the waste disposal will be removed from our cost. We can click on the question marks to see how the waste disposal is calculated. We can change the method, if we want, by clicking on the thumbnail picture or by using this drop down. We are going to be using eight yard skips, so we'll leave this as it is. Okay, all of the costs for the general items we will need for all our driveway sections are worked out. Edgings. As we've seen in previous sections, we are provided with different options for the edging. These being curb, concrete and timber. In our job, we've used a combination of curbs and concrete edgings. All edgings, regardless of the driveway section that they're entered into, are bought together and calculated together in the relevant edging subsection. 
subsections being kerb, concrete and timber. We'll start by looking at what's been calculated in the kerb edging subsection and work our way down. OK, we told the programme that we would be using kerb edging on the front, back and sides of our driveway entrance. We can see that the kerb stones to the sides of our driveway have been worked out for us. Here's the quantity that we'll need. We can select a different material if required by using the drop-down menu. We are going to enter in two full kerb stones. Like the example in the picture, we'll want these for the front of our drive entrance. The drop kerbs, an example of which can be seen by clicking this question mark, have been automatically worked out for us because we selected these for the front and back of our drive entrance. We're going to enter in two of the full kerb to drop kerb stones. Again, we'll be using these on the front of our driveway, like we can see in the picture. We are given the option to select any other type of kerb stone. We just select the type of kerb stone we need here in the drop down menu and enter in the quantity needed. Next, we've got the concrete for our kerb stone. If we click this picture, we can view how the concrete flaunching for our kerb stones is being calculated. All of these dimensions can be adjusted. If we click this icon, we're provided with further information about this. The first item for our concrete is the labour. Due to the amount of concrete that will be needed, we will be doing a manual mix. If a larger amount was being done, we may want to switch it to a ready mix by clicking this button. The cement mixer is here. We can see the number of days that have been allowed. The cement are worked out too. We can change the default materials by using the drop-down menus. We can also change the mix. At the moment it is a 5-in-1, but if for example we change this to a 3-in-1, the quantity of cement that we need will instantly change to allow for this. We'll just put that back to a 5-in-1. Next we've got all the costs for the concrete edgings. We did select concrete edgings for the driveway section 1. Programs worked out the quantity that we'll need. We do have the option to change the type of edging in the drop-down menu. If, for example, we were going to use block pavers, sets or rope edging. The concrete for these concrete edgings is worked out here. This works in exactly the same way as the curb edging concrete we've just looked at. So we can check the flaunching. We will be using a manual mix again, but we are able to switch this to a ready mix if required. The labour's here, here's the mixer and here is the cement. Again, we can adjust the materials in the drop-down menu and change the mix ratio if we wish. Finally, we've got the timber edging subsection. We've not allowed for any timber edging on any elements of our driveway, but we'll adjust the edging on driveway section 1 to timber, like this. Now, if we go to the timber edging subsection, we can see that the timber for the edgings has been worked out for us. We can change the material in the drop-down menu. Here are the stakes. Again, we can select a different material. If we want to change the distance between the stakes, just adjust the number in this yellow box. OK, let's just change the edgings on driveway section 1 back to concrete. Extra row and totals. As we have seen, the driveway section is packed with all of the common and not so common items and tasks that we may require. We have lots of easy to use options that mean pricing the driveway to our exact requirements is really straightforward and fast. We can add in an extra row to this section if we require an additional item or task that isn't listed. We just click this button and follow the built-in instructions. The totals for the driveway section are here. So we've got the plant, materials, hours, labour and the overall total.